Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of First, the show where I, Mark Kush Nez, tells you about their first impression about a game. I kind of got lost a track. I thought he thought there. Holy crap. I lost train of my thought because uh, my TV wasn't muted and then I heard a little blip and I'm going to keep all this in. But this here episode is all about Dismantle, a game that I enjoyed quite a bit, but I guarantee without a question, a shadow of a doubt question, what am I on about? Doubt? About? I'm a rhyming person. But uh, my first impression of this game is going to be different from almost every other person's first impression. Why? Because, first let me tell you what the game is about. There's a poke, 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 a post apocalyptic oh my god the, the world shit's gone down all right people and you've been in a bunker for years and you finally are leaving your shelter because you're out of resources or whatever i don't know it's it's all good up there blast from the past the the dials and everything is like it's been 27 years go upstairs and find some love now i don't remember exactly why you're going upstairs but it's probably something along those lines no christopher walken sadly but you go up there because of reasons and you're basically tasked with finding out what's going on getting away from all the bad things happening and just finding shelter a new shelter finding safe passage whatever you just want to protect yourself you want to survive that's what it's all about it's about survival and the thing is i really took the title to heart and I dismantled everything. I found the game incredibly relaxing. What I didn't realize though, is that after playing it for two hours and deciding I should probably move on, I decided to hit this certain part of the game that I was holding off. And once I did that, I realized how slow I had been and how much potential game is here. There, there might be a lot in Dismantle, especially if you play it the way I did. And long story short, and I'm meandering and just rambling on because that's essentially how I play the game, I hit the opening credits and the title card, which you see when you finish the opening tutorial error, which they probably expect you to finish in 15 minutes, 30 minutes max. I saw all that after two hours of play because I literally was just dismantling everything. Every bit of grass and shrubbery I could destroy and collect greens of, I did. Every fence I could smash to get some wood, I smashed. Every single thing I could get some kind of resource from, I made sure I got it all the time, every time. I would get it, fill my bag, and then go take it back to my storage little bin and dump it all in, which was pretty satisfying. There's a little like foo, 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 when you're dumping this shit in. And I just, I mainly did that. There are zombies on top that you have to fight. The fighting is simple but satisfying. I've seen screenshots where there are turrets and you probably get a gun too because this is from 10 Tums Limited. 10 Tums? Tum, 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 tum. 10 Tons Limited. I can't speak because I'm just so infatuated with dismantling shit. But it's from 10 Tons Limited who are, in my eyes, the leaders in twin stick shooters these days. Arcady twin stick shooters. They brought us Judge, Tesla vs. Lovecraft, Crimson Land, Neon Chrome, so many games that are very, very fun and all have their own little hook to them. And so I would assume that you'd probably get a gun at some point. But the world is infested with these zombie-like creatures who are very reminiscent of the zombies, whatever they're called in The Last of Us, because they look like they have a bunch of fungi sprouting from their head. But in the beginning, you fight them with your little crowbar. So you attack them, and there's a nice dodge roll, which is pretty satisfying, pretty responsive. I had fun with it. It's very easy. I took on this big, blobby, fat zombie with just my uh, crowbar, and that was pretty easy too. Just went in for a few swipes. 
he'd spit up in the air and drop his little nasty green goop all over the place. And I was able to dodge that as well. So the combat seemed pretty easy, but it was satisfying. But nothing was as satisfying as just going around this world and collecting resources. I'm sure there's more to it. The survival stuff is pretty simple. I saw that there will be a point where I guess cold will become a factor, but there was nothing like that in the opening <laughs> tutorial area, at least. And there's a pretty decent skill tree, so you do unlock stuff like fishing, digging, which I also never got around to because I was just dismantling stuff and never got to a point where I could fish. And so my first impression of dismantle is weird in that I spent way longer than anyone should spend in the opening area. And it's because for me, I really get fixated on resource gathering and I am someone who gets obsessed with that to an obsessive level. And that's not gonna be the way almost every other player plays this game. That said, I still think it's a great game, even if you don't take your sweet time with it like I did, because mechanically it feels really good. The resource gathering is nice and streamlined. The controls, the general movement feels good. The dodge roll feels good. Attacking enemies feels good. It all feels good, which is not really surprising because like I said, 10 tons limited knows how to make fun arcade games. To me, they are carrying the mantle that we lost when stuff like Summer of Arcade and Xbox Live Arcade just in general went away. They are making those bite-sized 15 to $20 games that are just really, really fun. You can play in small chunks and have a good time. If the map that I saw is the entire area you can explore, it's a big game. Because when I saw the map and the area the size of the area that i had spent two hours in i was like oh my god if i if i stay at this pace this game is going to be like a hundred hour game for me it's not going to be don't worry i know that's a scary number and you're probably thinking i don't want to play a game for a hundred hours especially a game that when you look at the video and everything you're like this is not a game i want to spend a hundred hours in don't worry you're not me you're not gonna spend anywhere near that amount of time in the game. But I probably will because I just like collecting the resources. It's a very, very relaxing game for me. A lot of the games that 10 Tons Limited have put out are more action-y and arcade-y. And this is the first that I can think of. I'm sure there are other ones that I'm forgetting because they've put out a decent amount of stuff. But this is different from what I usually expect from them, which are more level-based arcade -y things. And this is the survival game, resource gathering, leveling up and all that jazz and, and more of a ongoing experience as opposed to a level experience. But long story short, to say again, after saying it once already in this particular episode, I really, really like this game. I played it in a way no one will ever play it. I found it incredibly relaxing, very satisfying. I started it and before I knew it, two hours had gone. So it wasn't like I really felt those two hours. I was just immersed in the game, immersed in this world, enjoying my time with it. And before I knew it, two hours had passed. The title card had finally popped up on screen and I was like, holy shit, what have I been doing with my life over these last two hours? How did this happen? I can't believe it and I, was mildly embarrassed as I was streaming it and hit that point. But uh, I think Dismantle is a very, very good game. And I absolutely, unequivocally, highly, highly, highly recommend it to everyone. That is, again, Dismantle. I play it on Xbox, surely on everything. But uh, that will do it for this episode of First. Once again, I am Marcus Nez. Y'all can find me on Twitter and pretty much everywhere at PX Sausage. If you'd like to see me streaming games like Dismantle, you can do so over at twitch.tv slash PX Sausage. If you haven't already done so and you're watching this on the YouTubes, please do like, subscribe, hit that bell, and all that jazz. That is again youtube.com slash pixelated sausage if you're listening to the audio version of this here show. And 
Speaking of pixelated sausage, put a dot and com after that. What do you got? He got my website. And that is where you'd go if you want to see more stuff like this, as well as the art I make. And if you see something you like, you can purchase a print of the piece you fancy. And if you fancy the site in general and anything that we do, please go over to patreon.com slash PXS and support us that way. As always, thank you for watching or listening. I hope you enjoyed this here episode and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.